So actually we were here. We made this plastic paralysis in the part one of the deadness and now we are moving forward to learn that toxins travel through the intra axonal transport at the rate of 75 to 255 millimeter per day a process which takes the time of 2 to 14 days to reach the central nervous system right how what is meant by that they travel the intra axonal transport right they have to they cannot uh, they cannot cross the blood brain barrier so they choose the uh, they choose the uh, area of the presynaptic neuron and from there they retrograde they retrograde movement from uh, which means that from uh, uh, from the dent from the exon terminal to the soma and to the soma from to the dendrites they move in the sense right and the full form of the GABA is gamma amino uh, butyric acid which is the brain's inhibitory neurotransmitter and the glycine which is the main inhibitory neurotransmitter in the spinal cord these are the words which WHO writes and I have uh, excreted uh, the such type of the uh, extracted such type uh, this these uh, excerpts from the WHO website uh, they write that tetanus is acquired through infection of a gut or wound with the spore of the bacterium cholesterol tetany and most cases occur within 14 days of infection tetanus cannot be transmitted from person to person and the tetanus can be prevented through the immunization with tetanus toxoid containing vaccine however people who recover from tetanus do not have natural immunity and can be affected again there is no any natural immunity even after having the vaccine you are not going to acquire the immunity natural immunity if you have another want after taking the vaccine you have to take another if we talk about transmission, so transmission is through the concentration of wands, new umbilical wand, and surgical instrumental wand. The disease is peak in the summer or wet seasons. If we talk about forms of cholesterol tetany, so there are three local form, cephalic form, generalized form. But the generalized means a, a, a disease or the spore occurring at the particular, not a particular area, but you know, a vast amount of area. They, if they capture the vast amount of area in the human body or the animal body, that is the generalized form. The clinical signs, stiffness of the muscles, extended feet, head and neck, nervousness, sweating, dilated nostrils, loud noises, asphyxia, uh, fever, high blood pressure, muscle spasms, lockjaw, sweating, difficulty swellings. Incubation period is 6 to 10 days. And diagnosis is the clinicals. We have to see the clinical signs. Along with this, we have to do the differential diagnosis. We have to compare the symptoms and we have to compare with different diseases and we have to come into the conclusion. Uh, if you talk about treatment, iodine, antitoxin, wash the, wash the wand, antibiotics, antihistamines, chloropromazine. Prevention are clean wound, antiseptic solution, castration, tail docking, vaccination, tetanus antiserums. And these are some important points. Hyperexcitability, that is the thing which results in the muscle spasms. Tetanus is typically caused by the tetanus uh, cholesterol tetany bacteria entering a wound. The muscles of the face are often affected in generalized tetanus. So, this is all about the hope you understand this if you have any query any question you can ask in the comment section so if you like this channel subscribe to my channel if you're new so you have to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching this